What's going on, Paisons? V here. Today I'm here with Team Enforcers, right? Gavin Andrews, I made top 16 at the UDS Qualifier, or in Invitational. Okay. And uh, what deck you played? I played Guard Dragon, uh, Dark Warrior Orchestra. All right. Before we begin, do you want to give any shout outs? Uh, I want to give a shout out to Benjamin Dieter, the creator of this deck. I helped him uh, build this deck, but it's more his deck. I played this at regionals and YCS's. He top 16 uh, or YCS Knoxville with this. This is my first top. Uh, shout outs to Will Marson, Tyler, anybody on my team, Brent, Lo uh, Brent John, Bryce, uh, everybody from my locals at Mayhem Comics in Ames, Iowa, or not, uh, Des Moines, Iowa. Okay. All right, so let's go over the deck. All right. We're gonna dive into the deck profile. So I play one Arma, one Greffer. I would love to see this at uh, more than one, but if you open anyone this, else who took the survey before three thirty p.m. Uh, today, Lord Reffer, you can just summon his ult, or you can just summon uh, front uh, nice Dolphin off of his ult, and like they have hand traps and have hand knowledge, so you know what they're playing. From which I've seen, and you also can summon this off of his ult if you don't draw it. Uh, then I play the connector package, three connector, one Dolphin. This is great uh, for hand knowledge, so you know what your opponent's playing. Game one, uh, I played a game and won in time because I double dolphined. I summoned dolphin off of his old, and then I DDR'd it back because I divine sword phoenix blade DDR, discard the phoenix blade, summon this back, discard phoenix blade, and he lost two five hundred, and I won in time. Uh, and I also summoned this and this and saw a sphere mode in my opponent's hands, so I only ended on two monsters. Uh, no, the guy that's playing this deck is the guy that's still in top right now, still playing this deck right now. Yes, right? Benjamin Dieter. He's he was the creator and he's in top four right now. Okay. Uh, moving on to the War Extenders. I play triple red layer. Uh, if I don't control any monsters, can special summon this. It can be normal summoned. And if I have one engrave. Already, and I have overdone in hand, which it rarely comes up. But if you have overdone in hand and you search this copy off of his old, uh, you can discard this and uh, special summon a monster from grave for overdone that's less than five. And because this was sent to grave, you can target this and special summon this because you have two in grave. Uh, just the same as red layer, three junk forward. It could be normal and special. Kind of want to search this off of Izold, if not the Greffer, because if your opponent ogres your Izold, you can just summon this for free. Uh, then I also play three Butter Spy, helps chain block any monster, especially Connector or Arma Greffer. Then more extenders play three Marnie Captain, helps with if you open the Orcus monster, so you can just summon Orcus combo. Uh, then more War Extenders, I play three of the Phantom Knights, three Cloak and three Boots because uh, I don't want to play more than the, or less than this because if you open these two, it's a normal special and you get to search Brigadine off of this and you can search Fog Blade off of this to your end combo. You can also, which I didn't know. Uh, in Swiss yesterday is I can normal this special summon this and make his old because this either one of these can search Brigadine which can push a combo forward. Well, Moving on to the dragons, the uh, I play one Distrudo, one Omni Dragon Brochard, and, and one Chaos Dragon Levineer. Rip a players, card, you, you them send them this off of Armor Greffer, awesome. or if you open it, Santiago then Gonzalez. I play one of each Orcus. Opening these team. is kind of a brick, but like you can still play Shalom through it. Roy, if you don't have a way to summon Sean Nightmare Ray. Monsters, this is like a brick in your hand. You can't Dolphy discard it. And and, but it only came up once this whole tournament uh, if I opened one. Uh, then for hand traps, because this deck isn't really good going second, and you want to interact during your, with your opponent. You play three Ash, three Ogre, and three Draw. I feel are the best hand traps format. Ogre is really good uh, against like the LP. This is 
the generic, and this is great against uh, all the combo decks. How did this card perform for you today, in the past two days? Uh, it won me like five matches because you play against Thunder, and my last match in Swiss, he goes uh, Danger, and I discarded his Roar, and I chained because he drew a card uh, off a Snake. I chained Droll, and like that almost ended his turn because they just open dangers and you have to search. Uh, it's also good against Sky Striker if they try to get greedy. Uh, it's not really good against Salmon Great, but they. I just side this out mo the, most of the time because these are the most generic against the meta right now. Then moving on to the spells, I played one Babel, uh, one Rota, and uh, one Foolish. This helps extend your combo, or if you want to send boots to get a fog blade. Uh, Rota, really good, just generic search or bait. Uh, Babel like over or underperformed this weekend because like I usually never end on this. I might end up cutting it in the future because I just end up siding it out if it's not good against like any of the matchups. Uh, then I play three instant fusion. Uh, I summon just one from the extra deck, which is invoke Raijin. Is your only like, target for instant fusion? Yes. Okay. That's a good extender because. If they hand trap your result, you can just go instant fusion summon this. Or if you need a second copy uh, to extend your plays, you can summon this. It's also good going second uh, to book like a Colossus or any problematic monster or just bait and negate. And then I play five equips. Uh, I kind of want to bump this to six equips because this weekend I opened two equips like three different times and it costs me the game because if you open two equips you can't go guard dragon combo to send uh summon the armageddon knight or greffer wait and, so, so you're i'm sorry you're running five equips and you want to bump it to six yes because if you most of the time if you open one it's fine because you just need a level four to send or to summon armageddon knight or greffer which is oh, your so Yeah. okay uh, and I've opened two, three separate times and it cost me the game. So you still have like more gas in the tank yeah. than the promo combo. That's fine. If not, and you open two, they're also good extenders because they all special summon anything from Grave, except for Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, which you keep uh, cards in your hand. Just keep banishing warriors and adding these back. Uh, moving on to the traps, I only play five. Triple Brigadine. A lot of people don't like me playing Triple Brigadine and uh it it's the best extender that you can get uh it kind of clashes with butter spy because you if you open this or like instant fusion or red layer you can't summon butter spy because you have to normal summon a warrior first uh it kind of conflicts with like side deck or traps that i could play because like i don't play red reboot i don't play any other traps besides what i besides these two because if you play like Red Reboot or Imperm, which are like really good this format, you can't, if you need this for the combo, you can't set special because you already control a trap and grave. Uh, Fog Blade, you can search for your combo, helps stop like Floodgate monsters and the one Crescendo, which you usually summon off a of Galatea. Moving on to the extra deck. Like I said, the one instant fusion target, Invoked Raijin, double his old because everybody's gonna hand trap your old, and most people do it on the draw effect which means you can summon any extender, like Search Brigadine or Instant Fusion, or if you have another Warrior in field, just Link for another one and then go off. Uh, then I play for the Orcus. I play two Galatea, one Long Gearsu, and one Dune Gearsu. I'll show you in the com or the combo at the end uh, what you end on. Uh, I don't feel like three Galatea is correct for this version because there's not enough space, and uh, for the combo, you usually just use one of this, and then like if the grind game, you'll use the second one. Uh, moving on to the nightmares, I play one, one, and one. You just summon this, uh, pop up back row, or and then summon this, or if you have more extenders, you can summon this and break your opponent's board. Uh, this is good just for going second and this just helps your Orcus combo go off.
Then for the Guard Dragon engine, uh, for the target for Agra Pain, I play Hot Red. I play this over Crystal Wing because it's generically better than Crystal Wing because I don't want to lose to Evenly or like Mystic Mine. And if you play Crystal Wing, you just die to Mystic Mine decks, which I played a Orcus player that made Mystic Mine, and that was pretty scary. Uh, or, uh, for the Guard Dragons, I only play these two. I don't play Pisty because there's no room in the uh, extra deck, plus you just want to summon this and then summon Spheres. And I've gotten this Ogred and Ash and Gnomed and it kind of sucks, but like you can still go Orcus combo if you have enough extenders. And then for uh, the other dragons, I play Triple Burst, which comes in clutch uh, against Sky Striker if you don't want to go full combo first. And then your Spheres, which you summon off of the Agrapaint, or which you link these two off for this. Uh, moving on to the side deck, play Triple Pankertops. I didn't play this at Nats because it kind of conflicts with Red Layer and uh, Junk Forward because you have to special summon, if you control no monsters, you have, can special summon them, but this is just like a big beater. So if you want to play going second against like the Danger Thunderboards or like if they summon the new Appaloosa card, if they only do it for a three negate, it's 2400 so you can nor, uh, special summon this, go to battle phase, go to attack, and they have to force to bounce this, or it's going to be destroyed by battle. If not, you can, if they force this to uh, bounce this, you can just get rid of it, tribute it for cost, and get rid of the hot red. So it's outs two cards. And it's good against uh, generic back row decks. Uh, the only hand trap I played in the side was three no material because I was scared of combo and that's literally all I played. I played three control decks. This just auto wins against Salomon Gray and all the combo decks right now. How did it, how did it perform for you this weekend? Uh, I only resolved it once. I cited it multiple times, but my opponent did it to me twice in top 16, which is uh, pretty nice. Not for me. Uh, moving on to the rest, I just play three call by. Uh, because this card kind of sucks against control decks because control decks aren't really playing hand traps or not control decks, combo decks. Uh, because if you draw this against like Danger Thunder, then it's just a brick, and you don't want to see this against combo. Unless you're playing, or unless they're playing heavily on hand traps. And then for back row, just three cosmic and three twin, depending upon the matchup. Like against the Orcus going second, I will not do this. I will choose this because if you choose this against the Orcus matchup, which is wrong because they can just Din Gears to save it because it's destruction. And it's also good at generic against uh, Striker. Alright, excellent. What place did you get again? Uh, I got top 16. I was 8th after Swiss. 8th after Switch, top 16, and your buddy's still playing right now, currently yeah, top, top four. 4. I don't know if he's won yet, but we'll see. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. YouTube, we're back with a combo tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna do a blind test hand and show you how to play the who this con or play So you the shuffle comp. this and you just, you just. Yeah, I'll just shuffle it right now and just do a basic test hand and then show you what the combo will look like. You're that confident, huh? So you can special, normal. How do you feel we have to come over off the gate with these two cards? Yeah, just any two warriors. <laughs> you, just can make, uh, you can make his old, and then you go. You can go search. Uh, most people will ash this, so if you would have opened uh, like any extender, as in uh, like this brigadine. Uh, in like this, For the most part this weekend though, you played against a lot of combos, so did they- Oh, I they played so much combos. So they didn't really have answers because they, most of them don't run hand traps, correct? Yeah. Okay. So if I do run hand traps, they can't beat me going first, which I have won 10 die rolls in Swiss <laughs> of my 13 rounds, and I won one in top 16. Okay. So I don't know how I got the odds, and the one I lost, I lost two in Swiss, or two or three in Swiss, uh, and one of them made me go first, so that was bad for him. <laughs> so, right, so let's see the rest of the combo. Let's so we got say, this happening on board. Let's say this 
Uh, let's, let's make this Brigadine. And then these can be any two cards. So you can have any extender. If you have another extender, it pushes this. So you can go Izzold search, which I normally either search this or Greffer because if they interrupt your combo or like if they ogre here, you can special this and you have another extender so you can summon another Izzold, which a lot of people don't know that I run two Izzold, which uh, helps out a lot. So let's just say we search this. Uh, is old second effect, so pay for cost. So I run five equips, so if you open one, you can still go full combo. So one, two, three, and four. You always need to send Phoenix Blade because you just card so many cards in this deck. Send four, and you just want to summon Arma from the deck. Or Greffer, depending upon what you search to begin with. You meant him running five. Yeah, I run five because I send four to summon this. Right. This is a level four. Mm -hmm. So if you do open one, you can send four. But if you open two Eclipse, mm -hmm. it's awkward and you have to summon Dolphin. Mm -hmm. And try to rep a hand trap or like have hand knowledge. So Arma's effect will go off. And you more than likely will send Distrudo to start your combo. And if they hand trap you here, or if they activate uh, Lancia, the great thing about this deck is it doesn't die. You can just go straight for uh, Orcus combo because you have any two monsters. So you send this, uh, you target this, pay half for cost, so you pay 4,000. You summon this, you link this off so it goes to the bottom of the deck and you make the LP and then because you have two warriors in grave, you want to not forget this, banish these two. Add the Phoenix Blade to hand. So, like right here, you have five cards in hand. Uh, you link these two off. For Agrapan. Or not Agrapan, you triple burst because you need a link for three. So you go this. Effect, most people will hand trap that because they don't want you to uh, summon the hot, or get another dragon to summon hot red. So you'll summon Brotar and you'll go Brotar's effect because you already added the Phoenix Blade so you don't lose anything from your hand. So you can discard the Phoenix Blade. Uh, then you search the big brother of Brotar, which will be uh, Chaos Dragon Leviner. Uh, and then you can link these two off for Agrapain. Agrapain effect to summon Hot Red Dragon Abyss, and then link these two off for Spheres. Uh, and then if you open an Extender or anybody get to PK to Grave or an Instant Fusion, or if you summon three monsters, uh, you have the extra one. You can set this special because you don't control traps in Grave. Uh, and then you more than likely, if you go first, We'll banish three darks. If not, you'll banish two darks and a light to pop two, which isn't targeting. Uh, you'll banish three darks. Summon Chaos Dragon Levineer. Levineer will rip a card, or if it's dark and light, you'll pop two. Uh, and then you can link these two for the Phoenix. And then before you do anything, you banish two warriors again to get the Phoenix Blade back to your hand so you don't keep discarding cards. And then you can link this for the Mermaid. Mermaid effect cost send. And then you can special summon the Nightmare from deck. I don't know how many times in Swiss I had to look through this deck and could not find my target because it's 55 cards, so, but it's it's not a big deal. You can link these two off for Galtea, Shadows of the Ulti, uh, Banish. We'll banish to go through the deck and search for Harpoor, send it to Grave, and then it's a typical Orcus combo, send to banish. It's a special summon the crescendo or the symbol skeleton. 
and summon. So now normal Orcus combos, you would summon Dingirsu and then link for Long Gearsu and then special summon it back. And then you will go into the top electric bomber dragon. But this ends differently than them because I don't summon Dingirsu here. I'll link these off for the Long Gearsu here because this will point to your opponent's monster. So next turn, you can send a card they control that's linked to this card, and then you can banish this card. Summon, go effect. I normally put the Nightmare back because it'll help extend because you only play one of each to set the crescendo from deck. Which is like uh, just public knowledge you set and then you can overlay this go effect on summon, take this from the banished pile or, or make it an overlay unit. And then right here you have an, two anything negates. This can't be negated unless it's uh, by a counter trap. Uh, you have two protections from by battle or by card effects. So if your opponent pink taps you, you can just get rid of or they twin you, you can do anything. Uh, you have follow-up play because if this is sent to grave by like a kaiju, you can special summon it back. Uh, you ripped a card with Levineer, and like this test hand, I open Droll. Uh, so that's a hand trap. So your opponent has to play under Droll, two anything negates, a lip or a rip from Levineer, a bounce from anything, and then you can summon to Shudo. You could open hand traps if you opened uh, any of the PKs. They get you extensions, mostly the boots, where you can get the fog blade, and then that's just insane. Most most people can't play around it. How do you feel about? I know every deck has to play if like at least in case they get like spear mode or recovery. How do you feel if you also get spear mode? How would you be able to? You feel you ready to recover nice and properly, or? Uh, so spear mode is like awkward in this deck because you can play around it because most people will spear mode this, this, and this. Will send to grave. Uh, depending upon your hand, you could you could still have three cards in hand, so you could have like a hand trap or two. You have Dingirsu, so if you have another monster for next turn, you can like this. You can discard a, another card, another dark, and go off. But uh, Dieter, was it uh, last round of Swiss got severe moded and won the match. Okay, so, so this deck, deck can to... it can play around sphere mode and super poly because if you do open connector you have hand knowledge so you won't end on the you won't end on this this like this combo because if you're going if you know you're gonna get sphere moded you just end on like this with crescendo which is enough against most matchups because if they hand trap you which a lot of decks do. That's two cards out of their hand if they hand you trap you twice. Two anything negates, and it's just hard for people to play around. And if I open a hand trap, that's just three interruptions against your three cards in hand. All right, any shots you wanna give? Uh, my main shout out, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, uh, is Benjamin Dieter. He's the builder of this deck and currently going into the finals of the UDS Invitational 2019. Oh, thank you. All right, peace out, YouTube.